Okay, check this out. I just found this outside. I thought we had palmetto bugs and they weren't bad. I mean, they don't hurt you. They're not gonna bite you, but they're nasty and they stink. They're basically big old huge roaches. But look at this guy. Okay, look at his mandibles. This guy, if he bit, he's gonna hurt. And this, look at the size of my finger. I, I've been working out in the yard, so excuse my fingernails. But this thing is huge. What the heck is this thing? Is that a toe biter? Is that what that is? Maybe? Toe biters are these bugs that live in the water. And they're called toe biters because they bite your toes in the water and they really hurt. My gosh, look at the size of this. I mean, a palmetto bug is probably bigger or maybe about the same size. But they're not gonna hurt you. They're just gonna scare the crap out of you. Excuse my language, but it's just gonna really scare you. This thing here, that mandible on it, it's gonna do some damage. Look at the size of that mandible. It's gonna bite you. That thing would bite really hard. On a good note, isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty? A little fly. Anyways, here in Florida, we get bugs of all kinds of creatures and stuff like that. But this here is the first time I've ever seen this, and I've been here for what, about 10 years. I've been permanently, I think, five years, but I've been living here for about 10. Man, look at that thing. I'm not sure what that is on his toes. What is that on his feet? A little white. White things? Are those his toes? And that's something. Okay, I'm gonna have to figure out what it is. Okay. So, it is not a toe biter. Thank goodness. I mean, that's not really thank goodness at all because I want to see a toe biter so bad. I mean, I don't want to get bitten by a toe biter, but I want to see one. I really want to see one. And I know they're in my lake because, um, because I've seen their, their moltings. Anyways. So what this is called is a wide neck root borer, a Prionus lacticolus. Check it out, just amazing. I believe that this here is a female and what happened, the males are much smaller and I think the males have um, their antennae is, um, kind of like feathery but um, the females they kind of insert their larvae like a cricket would into um, the ground and um, and then they then they hatch out later into um, larvae anyways very cool just am so amazed at this guy anyways I'm gonna let him go not that I want to meet in my tree, but, or roots of my trees, um, but I don't want to kill them either. Anyways, very cool, right? I think so.